Hey guys, so today I'm finally doing the long awaited video, a bookshelf tour. I don't know why I'm doing this as if the bookshelf is in the frame and you can see it. But I've been saying I was going to do this video for like over a year. And I've just been wanting to decorate my bookshelf, like make it look perfect how I want it to look. But you know what? That's probably never going to happen. I'm probably never going to like decorate it with like cute little things. So we're just going to do it because you know what? If I do decorate it, we can just make another one. I'm also not really sure how this is going to work because I forgot my tripod at my old house. <laughs> so I don't have a tripod. But we do have water bottles that we can stack as tripods. Hopefully it'll be fine. I'm just gonna do a little overview and I'm gonna go through every single book. I know a lot of people don't do that anymore in bookshelf tours, but everyone has a billion books. I just have one bookshelf full. To be honest, I do need another bookshelf because I cannot buy any more books because nothing else fits on the shelf. Anyways, this is gonna be a very long video, I feel like. Maybe not, I don't know. So we should probably just get started with the bookshelf tour. I'm going to stop rambling. So I know my nails look disgusting. I'm so sorry you're gonna have to see them in the video. <laughs> I probably should have painted them, but I didn't. They're chipping. This is real. This is me. I look like Barney. I wasn't anticipating you seeing my pants, but here we are. Okay, starting on the first shelf. This shelf doesn't really have a theme. It's honestly just like bigger books, like taller ones that I didn't know where to put and that I don't love. So I didn't really need them in my in my eye view distance. Does that make sense? No, I don't know. First, I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Again, But Better by Christine something. <laughs> Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Lauren Conrad Infamous. I don't know where all my other Lauren Conrad books went, but I used to be obsessed with Lauren Conrad books and I did read every single one out of the two like trilogies or whatever. The Final Detective by Andrew Cartmill. And I have this entire series. I haven't read them. The Hush Hush Crescendo Silence Finale. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. I don't know where the other book in this trilogy went. I love this trilogy so much. City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. I love this book so much. One of my favorite books of all time, probably. But I haven't reread it, so I don't know if that still stands. <laughs> Alienated. Invaded. Okay, moving down to my Stephen King slash horror shelf. If you couldn't tell, Stephen King is my favorite author. Love him. <laughs> love his books. Um, I have a few random horror books on the side too, but this shelf is mostly Stephen King. So I know this is really hard to do without a tripod and my arms are killing me, hurting. This is a workout. This is why I don't need to go to the gym. I can just film a bookshelf tour. Starting off with not Stephen King, I have Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. You know, the Ikea looking book. Then I have Bizarre of Bad Dreams, The Outsider, From a Buick 8. I really need to finish this book. I started it and did not finish. <laughs> Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. I love this book so much, guys. You need to read it if you haven't. The Shining, Doctor Sleep, Misery, Cell, The Gunslinger. I haven't read the Dark Tower series yet. Also, this is like a super old copy. It by Stephen King, my favorite book of all time. This is actually the copy I read. It's falling apart and it's super old, but favorite book ever. Carrie by Stephen King. The Mist. I'm not gonna pull these ones out because that is gonna take way too long. But I have Under the Dome, the first Stephen King book I've ever read. Another copy of it, Insomnia, Gerald's Game, The Dark Half, Gwendy's Button Box. Then I just have some comics. <laughs> I have Batman, Mad Love and Other Stories, Snot Girl by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hunt, Suicide Squad Volume 1, and Suicide Squad Volume 2. Goodbye. <laughs> this is going really well for me. Then I have Hex by Thomas Old Huvelt. This book is so good. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. Clash of Girls and Monster Boys, the short stories. My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. And The Taking by Dean Coots. Okay, moving on, I have my manga shelf. Also, this one I think can actually work if I put my camera here. Thank God. Um, so, starting off, 
Death Note Black Edition Volume 1 and Death Note Black Edition Volume 2. I have No Game No Life Volume 1, the light novel, Toradora Volume 1, the light novel, and Toradora Volume 2. Next, I have some volumes of Fruits Basket. So I have Fruits Basket Volume 1, Fruits Basket Volume 2, Fruits Basket Volume 3, and Fruits Basket Volume 8. I actually bought these when they were out of print, so that was super fun and exciting when I found them. That's why I randomly own Volume 8. Moving on, I have Dead Man Wonderland Volume 1 and Dead Man Wonderland Volume 2. My manga shelves are so bad because I'll start collecting a series and then I just get distracted and start collecting new series. That's why I don't have any completed series. Next, I have Black Butler Volume 1 and Black Butler Volume 2. The next thing I have is this Omnibus Kitchen Princess Volume 1 and Kitchen Princess Volume 2. Next, I have Orange Volume 1 and Orange Volume 2. Super sad. Next, these are just some random ones. Um, This is Blue Inferior Volume 1. Sakura Him. I don't know how to pronounce that. Volume 1. Don't know what that is either. Book of Friends Volume 1. And then I have Subasa World Chronicle Volume 1. I didn't sign up for a paid ad from the Sirens. Moving on, I have Nana Volume 1, Nana Volume 2, and Nana Volume 3. You cannot buy any more of these right now, and I'm so sad because I bought these a really long time ago and I want to finish buying them because it is one of my favorite animes of all time, and I just want to buy the rest, but they're out of stock everywhere. I have Oran High School Host Club Volume 1, Oran High School Host Club Volume 2, Oran High School Host Club Volume 3, Oran High School Host Club Volume 4, and Oran High School Host Club Volume 5. Then next I have Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Next I have Himoto Marachan Volume 1, Himoto Marachan Volume 2, Himoto Marachan Volume 3, Himoto Marachan Volume 4, and Himoto Marachan Volume 5. And then randomly on the shelf I have Emily the Strange Volume 1, Lost Dark and Bored, and Emily the Strange Volume 2. I love Emily the Strange so much. <laughs> Moving on, this shelf is just my Cassandra Clare shelf, plus other random books that people talk about on book two. That's mostly what the shelf is. So first I have the Infernal Devices. So I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And then I have the Shadowhunters Codex. And then I also have the Bane Chronicles. And then of course we have the Mortal Instrument series. Everyone with a bookshelf owns this series. So City of Bones. City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. And then from the Dark Artifices, I only own Lady Midnight, but I did read the second book. I still need to read the third one though, so I am behind on Cassandra Clare books, but I mean, look how big they are. <laughs> Next, I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I'm actually reading this book right now. I came and put it back on my bookshelf just for this bookshelf tour. Then I have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. The Night Circus by Lee Bardugo. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Then I have A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimir. Then I have The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. This shelf is just me shoving books somewhere because I ran out of space, so. <laughs> I'll start off with the books on top. Uh, V.C. Andrews book, The Wildflowers Star. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. And Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy. Then for the actual shelf, I have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Wayward Sun by Rainbow Rowell. Then I have all my Emily the Strange books. I love Emily the Strange so much. So I have my paperback copy of The Lost Days. Um, hardcover copy with no dust jacket copy of The Lost Days. The like actual The Lost Days. Stranger and Stranger, Dark Times, and Peace of Mind. Then next I have Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Then these are also random, so I'm not going to pull them all out, but I have They Both Die at the End, White is for Witching, Hate List, The Pain Eater, We Are Okay, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, All the Bright Places, Detached, Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls, How to Save a Life, The Bell Jar, Sea of Strangers, and Lord of the Flies. Then randomly on top of this, I have Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. Then I have Name Me Nobody. Then I have Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, 
the way I used to be, what I lost, the darkest minds, Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiyami, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Last Shelf is mostly my boyfriend's book, so I'm not gonna go through it. I just have two books on it. So I have <laughs> Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hamm. Tucked away on the side because there's no space on the bookshelf, I have the illustrated editions of Harry Potter. So I have the first three right here. I also forgot to mention on the side of my bookshelf, I have these vine things. I think it looks super cute. And then I have a My Melody Squishmallow, um, a stuffed animal from Orland High School Host Club, and then some random panda stuffed animal. But look how cute, obsessed. So that is all for my bookshelf tour. I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too shaky because I don't have a tripod. I did my best, my arms are in pain, but we did it and honestly that was really fun. I actually had a really good time doing that. Hope you all enjoyed as much as me. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll be all the most. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. Remember to smile and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.